Welcome back to another edition of the Crude Brew Crew. Finally. Finally. And uh, as you can tell, we're one person short again. <clears throat> so, talk about Javier's height that way. Yeah. Just. Uh, well, maybe, maybe we'll fill maybe we'll fill in his spot normal uh, height later on. We might have to get a new crew, brew, yeah, a new member. Yeah. Anyway, so anyway, what we're drinking today is a home brewed pale ale that uh, that I came up with, and uh, well, let's go fill it up. Yeah. You made, you made up right. the recipe. I made it up. I'll, let, I'll I'll talk about the recipe when we come back. Shoot around. All right. Let's go. All right, well we're back. We've all got a full glass. Cheers. Cheers. What do you call this? I call this. He hasn't called it. I haven't called it anything. Named it anything maybe, yet. maybe you guys can help me name Let's it. Something name it. Knoll's ale. How about Knoll's pale white ass? <laughs> Let's just call it nail. <laughs> <laughs> There's something in there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Let me tell you what's in this one. It's a pretty simple recipe. Oh, that's pretty good, man. It's really Real clean. Easy. It's great. And what I use is uh, Cascade. I... Shut up. <laughs> what I use, what I, um, what program I use is uh, iBrew, iBrew Master, and uh, it's a great program. It's made for iPhone, but it works on the bigger stuff too. Did your iPhone get bigger? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that's that's what I use. But um, the recipe is pretty simple. It is basically only Maris Otter and Amarillo hops. And uh, let me pull that up here. Here we go. I thought there was one hop in it. Amarillo. Amarillo hops. That's it. 10 pounds of Maris Otter and one, two, 2.6 ounces of Amarillo gold. That's it. And I put in one ounce at 60 minutes, uh, 0.3 ounces at 30 minutes, 0.3 ounces at 15 minutes, and another ounce at the end of the boil. And... <clears throat> I used an English ale yeast, and it's pretty simple. It's really easy, and they were whole leaf hops too. But I think it was the first time I ever used whole leaf hops. Was I don't know you, if it was that harder, or did it make a difference? Yeah, it plugged up. It plugged up my uh, pot a lot more. Really? It was harder to drain it. It absorbed a little more liquid. I think I ended up with less, but no, the end product now is what, good. What did you it's pick? Great. It's a very good beer, but what made you choose the Amarillo? Like, out of all the Cascades. I just like the way I just like the way it smelled. And uh, I was hoping it could do the job of a bittering hop, you know. Usually I think it's of it very as very lightly hop. hopped. It's very yeah. lightly hopped. It's it's kind of like a <clears throat> like a lager. It's not very bitter. Yeah, it's nice clean taste. It's very good. Thank you. It's really good. I'm it's happy beer. with it. I like watching the little bubbles come up. It's a fine a fine now, beer. So you we <clears throat> you still have to have a name it. You gotta come up come up with a name. I just think you should call it nail. Nail for Noel Zale. N A L E. You guys didn't see that. How about uh <laughs> for this, we have to put a sandbag on that? How about Easy Summer Ale? Well it's got like Maris it. Otter and Amarillo and Noel made it. Maris Amarillo. Amarillo Pale. There you go, Amarillo Pale. You could call it that. Yeah, that works. No? You don't like it. Help us out. So we're hearing no, no peanut from gallery. A, yeah. Let's hear it. You got a better one? You could call it black bra ale. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little off camera joke. <laughs> no nailed it? Damn. <laughs> I didn't, it, you didn't get me in trouble. Hey, I noticed you have a fireman's brew glass. That I do. We've uh, actually become pretty good friends with them ever since our <clears> podcast. <throat> if you haven't seen that, look in the archives. Uh, real cool guys. Yeah. They've invited us to a chili cook-off recently and a yeah. couple other events. I couldn't make that. I couldn't make it either because of work, but uh, I told them to keep inviting me. I want to make something. Those guys are cool. Yeah. Good beer, too. I just got, we just got that total wine open over here. Yep, and they had all three yeah. kinds yesterday, well, last week. I got two of the Redheads six-packs because that's all I can find when I went. But well, this, they were Just a out. couple days ago or like five days ago, oh, they, they all three. <clears throat> someday they'll be carrying crude brew crew. <clears throat> Maybe. Over there. Maybe. There CBC. You go. There you go. I'll take it. Years. Also, uh, what's new for us is the. Uh, <laughs> we got a drink. I guess I did. Cheers. What's new for us <laughs> is more drinking. Is. Uh, <laughs> homebrew club. <laughs> we're uh, we're starting the homebrew club as of right now, and 
basically, uh, if you live in the area, that's great. You can come by and on nights that we film, we'll film and brew on the same time at the same time, which we're we're doing actually right now. Which reminded me, I forgot to set the timer. We're brew, obviously filming right now, but also brewing right now. Exactly, we've got a, something in the mash right now, and let me let me get that timer. It's been going. what 15 minutes? About 10. 10. Well, anyways, we got the homebrew clubs. Uh, we're starting up. Uh, today's the official start date. We got a couple people that already want to join. They're at work right now, so they're not here yet, but they're going to be running late. And uh, we're brewing our first batch as a group tonight, which uh, you'll see. I don't months. know anything about it yet. You'll probably fill me in. It's a Belgian wit. There you go. Belgian wit. We're gonna. We'll, we'll be trying. We'll be drinking it in July or August. It's a good summer beer. Good, great summer beer. Nice yeah. and light. Low hops. Nice flavor. Did I mention I'm having a luau in August? You guys got to come to. You guys are all invited. You're all invited. <laughs> if you want to drive. And BFE. <laughs> um, but like you said, if you're in L.A. County and you're nearby and you want to join the homebrew club, you're more than welcome. Just go to crudebrewcrew.com and contact us, and we'll help you out. And uh, if you're not in the area, we'd still like to somehow include you. So if you want to uh, be a part of the Crude Brew Crew or represent it, we'll do some sort of uh, uh, a virtual, virtual member, member or something. And if you enter competitions, you can enter you know, as the Crude Brew Crew, you're part of that club. And yeah, if you have questions, you can hit us up. We have the forum and uh, keep our emails. The website. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make a new tab uh, for the homebrew club on the website. That's coming soon, and uh, yeah, just stay tuned. Right. So uh, yeah, let's finish up because uh, I'm ready to start the real party. Yeah. Yeah. Which uh, so I would say this was a success. Success. Nice. It's got uh, it's Maris Otter, so it's got kind of a nutty uh, malt flavor came out nice and clean i like it the english ale worked real nice the hops are a little different but they're still good Knowles pale nut ale pale nut ale now <laughs> I, I just have one question while we're on the subject <clears throat> yep this is a very good beer i love it would you change anything to it or is this your recipe for it now i would serve it colder <laughs> yeah unfortunately my beer refrigerator is right now set at 50 degrees because i have a pilsner in there that's fermenting and i can't i'm gonna in about a week, I'm going to crank it down to 35 degrees. But that, that that's longer. also new, though, right? You just installed taps in your keg yep. now? or you got the keg Are be able to check that out at all? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll look at that on a different one. Okay. In fact, we might put that in some extra footage. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Well, as always, keep, keep drinking, drinking good great beer. beer. God damn it. I always mess that <laughs> up. You sure do. Great beer. Great beer. You're editing now, right? Yeah. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> Oh, I felt that one. <laughs> Did that just fall in your ass crack? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I just nice. absorbed the cable from my butt crack. It's going in. Edited it out that something uh, else is up there. It's going in. <laughs> I just put that in. on? Okay, yeah, we're ready. You guys ready? Are you sure? Damn, <clears throat> I'm sitting on it again. That's what she said. 